G'day and welcome to a tutorial on my Minefield Collector Drone. Today I'll be putting myself in your shoes to print it up, show you how to use it, how to set it up and everything in between. Now what you see here is caused by the auto lock on the magnetic pads on the bottom of this drone, grabbing the actual printer's welders and stopping it from actually welding up and causing what you see here. For me to fix that is that I went into the blueprint, turned off that auto lock function and had it to turn back on once printed up and activated. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. All right, once the drone's all printed up nice and neat, you want to disconnect it from the grid and actually get rid of this small merge block right there. So it's a nice flat surface for nothing to get in the way of it. I'll get my creative mode tools back on so I can have my jetpack back. And I need to give this eight parachutes, two for each of the payloads it needs to pick up. Just like so, right click, drag and select the amount. From there, I need to go into the remote block and I'll be using the same exact GPS's the minefield drone used to drop their payloads. So first of all, I want this collector drone to clear the printer. Go to GPS 1, where the minefield drone dropped its mine. It'll go just above my grinder setup just behind me and go to grinder drop, which is just above the floor, nice and safe so the payload or the mine won't blow up, hopefully. When it gets to GPS 1, I want it to trigger the collect timer and I'll explain what they do when they get there. When it gets to grind a drop, I want it to trigger that drop timer. Really easy, really simple. And I'm going to repeat this for the rest of the three GPSs that my version 2 minefield drone uses. So 2, grind a low, grind a drop. Once it's all finished its job, I want it to go to grinder high so I can then fly it away and connect it to my base or whatever I need to do. At two, trigger the collect. At the drop, trigger the drop. Fairly simple. All right, a little known fact with my grab timer, which actually turns its autopilot off when it gets to GPS one, if you've got a high GPS that your minefield drones use, you may want to increase this time. And I shall to 20, it doesn't matter exactly what you do, but as long as it has enough time to drop from the GPS one down to the ground to grab the payload. I've found that in this playthrough with the GPSs I have behind me, 20 seconds is more than enough. Any less and any more, you're just effectively saving time. I do have another timer on here in case it does get stuck to the voxels which is set to a minute so if it grabs the payload or the mine and the voxels as well which is why i have the tires around it to stop that happening as much as possible it will count down this one minute timer when it gets to gps one to then wait a minute to make sure it actually has enough time to go back to your printer setup and stop this timer so this will just save it from locking to the voxels it'll unlock everything and allow it to continue on its merry way a lot easier and a lot safer it's just a, a redundancy timer so with that being said all you need to do is then trigger this bad boy up just like so and i'm going to lock to it with my control z and what it's going to do at each of these gps's and it was quite difficult for me to do as i had to get this evenly distributed in weight across all four axes so it, it enables it to drop down with its parachutes nice and easy and nice and flat as you see right here just watch out it does not have its collision avoidance on so if you're sending it back to your printer or your grinder setup or your base make sure you've got a really high gps to make sure it clears everything out of your base so it allows it to come straight down onto the dock or whatever it may be from there as you saw it just started that grab timer and then it turned on its autopilot from turning it off when it got to gps1 so with that when it got to gps1 it also turned off about 80 percent of its thrusters to enable it to fall with those parachutes and very good nice and easy nice and simple unfortunately that did damage it a little bit but all the ammo can usually be in the turret itself depending how you set that up 
always go and check out the tutorials I have on all of my drones I'm doing so far. One a week. Once more, it starts that grab timer, and it will also start another timer around here somewhere to make sure it's not stuck. It should start by the time it actually hits there, and it will start for about a minute. There we go. And on its merry way. Now, this grinder setup took a lot of finagling to actually get for the fact that the rules I set for myself was it had to be completely vanilla, no mods, no scripts, no DLCs, nada of any of that. It had to be completely vanilla, as I said. And it had to collect 100% of any block that may go into it, whether it be ammo, like actual Gatling ammo item itself, not in a block, or any of the metal grids I have in these turrets themselves, which is what I want mainly back from this, including the Gatling ammo, which would be the magnesium. So let's just do a quick time lapse of how this goes, and I'll explain when this comes back on its fourth grinder trigger. That's right, I said fourth grinder trigger. It's all automated. So here we are coming back on the fourth one itself. And the way this grinder set up is that this sensor right here is looking for any drones that may fly where that grinder drop is. And what that's going to do is that it triggers four timers on the bottom of this grid to then drop this floor, have this piston push forward, and actually push all these drones forward and into this grinder setup automatically. See, they're not on. When the floor gets and hits another timer, there we go, it turns on automatically. Flick over to my spectator camera to get a nice view of this. And the whole reason why I built this grinder is it needs to gather every single little bit it can. So as you see, it stops from another timer to make sure it's not pushing it into the grinders or those too fast that may damage or make them explode. So I'll just come down here. And it was very difficult for me to actually get this for the fact that as soon as items come down here, it may get stuck in between different blocks and all sorts of stuff. So I've got grinders out the actual wazoo to make sure that if they, if a block lands here and doesn't get grinded down by this, it will get grinded down by this. If it's ammo falling down this that is pushed in, it will then fall into these little chutes. Once it doesn't pick up any more grids, it then resets. I'll flick back to my character. And I haven't quite figured this one out yet, but I then need to reset it by bringing up the floor. And it can go all again once more. So the drone's all the way back up the top. Very easy, very simple. You can just set up a few more GPSs to then let it go back to your base fly in front of a, uh, a grid, fly underneath a docking connector, and it will just connect back up really easy, really simple. It's one docking thing I have never done, but it would not be that difficult to do. It just take more GPSs, that's all. So with that being said, subscribe, like, all that good jazz. Stay sharp till next time. See ya!